how are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. You see all the beautiful velvet pumpkins I found at a Dollar Tree? I'm so excited. Look how pretty and rich they look. I'm gonna create some amazing glamorous DIYs for you today. I hope you like them. If you do, please don't forget to press that like button. Also consider subscribing to my channel because the moment you hit that red button, you become my bestie. <laughs> and that way we are in touch. You don't miss any of my future videos, okay? Thanks so much. Let's get started. So as you saw in my last video, Dollar Tree has some of the most beautiful velvet pumpkins this year. Variety of colors for just a dollar a piece. Even if you didn't want to do anything with them, you just put them in a pretty bowl. By the way, you can find this beautiful hammer metal bowl at a Dollar Tree. And you just add your pumpkins in and uh, maybe add some greenery to it if you like. And just like that, you already have a beautiful centerpiece for your table. Don't you think? I think it looks so luxurious and nowhere can tell that these are Dollar Tree items. Compatible hammer metal bowl on Amazon, for example, cost around $30, $40. <laughs> The mail is here! I can't believe I get to sing this song! Here's the mail, it never fails It makes me wanna wag my tail When it comes, I wanna will The first box is from my bestie Mary Thank you so much for the wonderful letter And look at all this beautiful ribbon She tells me it's from Craft Outlet And they got really good deals and then look at all these reef forms and the bike wheel form and the garlands. Oh my goodness, I was looking for those. I found only one this summer. And what is here? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Isn't it funny that Coco understood that the gift was for her? As Mary wrote to me in her letter, these dresses uh, used to belong to her baby, Tasha. And I think Coco sensed it. It is such a special gift, uh, so meaningful. Uh, thank you so much, Mary. We will treasure it for many years. <laughs> Coco's happy. Coco say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my bestie. <laughs> oh, what is all this? What is all this, Coco? Yes? Oh, say thank you. We are so lucky. We got a second box to open. And this one is from my bestie, Debbie. It says fragile. I wonder what's in there. Debbie took good care to wrap this carefully in a bubble wrap. And I'm just so curious to find out what could it be. Cherry on top kind of day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Love you, my bestie. 
if you watch my channel for a while, you know the real meaning here. Please give me those little cherry emojis so I'm gonna know how many besties are out there watching. So for the first DIY, we are going to work with my two favorite pumpkins, gray and pink. We're going to take some glitter and Mod Patch, which you can find at a Dollar Tree. We're going to remove the stems, paint them with Mod Patch and sprinkle with some glitter. Those stems are really nice anyway, but that glitter just takes it up a notch. And it's such an easy and expensive way of upgrading them. Next, we are going to take diamond adhesive wrap from the Dollar Tree. They also sell one in pearl, but I don't have much pearls left. It's an option though. There's also another product. It's the adhesive border stickers. They're great, although they're a little bit too wide for our sized pumpkins. They're perfect if you create big pumpkins like we used the frame last year. So I recommend using the diamond or pearl wrap, cut it in strips, and then you're going to stick it on your pumpkins from the top to the bottom, just like so. And you continue going around sticking these in between the pumpkin ribs. I believe there's like exactly 10 ridges there. Also, it's worth mentioning that the sticker is nice and strong, holds up very well to the velvet, so I didn't reinforce it with hot glue, but if you like, you could do that. And when I was all done and uh, I was putting back the stem, I added a lot of hot glue over there in the middle, so that reinforced it at the top as well. And would you look at this beauty? <laughs> I love it. Who is into glamorous pumpkins? And look at the before and after picture. It's a big difference for only about 33 cents. <laughs> Definitely worth the effort, right? And now the gray pumpkin wants a makeover too. So we're just gonna quickly repeat the same steps. And take a look at this beauty, so rich and luxurious on the budget, but no one has to know. <laughs> Christmas time, but they sell many other types. You can also spray paint them if you don't like black and white. Of course, we're gonna take it up a notch. You know I like to use my pool noodles, and I'm gonna cut two slices, one smaller, one larger, maybe slightly at an angle, and we're going to hot glue it to our pedestals. Next, we are going to glue our pumpkins on top. You know, just play with the placement, see how you want your stems to be set. I like mine in the opposite directions, for example, just like so. And let me turn it around so you can see, like this. Next, we are going to make some velvet bows. And Hobby Lobby sells this pearl edge velvet ribbon. Every other week is half price. And this one is called Whisper Pink. For a touch of gray, I'm going to add this thin ribbon from Walmart. I got it on after Christmas sale for less than a dollar. 25 feet long, it's a steal. And they had so many, nobody really saw a potential. But I'm telling you, it's a wired ribbon and it's a gem to have. So be on the lookout for this ribbon this season, okay? So depending on the size of your pedestal, you're gonna make a bow accordingly. This is a small one. Uh, I'm measuring about five inch tail, then seven inches folded in half. That's a three and a half inch loop. Uh, I'm just making two loops here and cutting off about five inch tail. Beautiful ribbon, very simple bow, just grabbing a pipe cleaner, tying it in the middle.
And now we're gonna make another bow on top of it out of the thin gray ribbon. I'm measuring a longer tail, six inches, and then five inches folded in half. So this is like two and a half inch uh, loops. I'm making three loops and cutting of the uh, tails. The tails are long because let me just show you what I'm gonna do. First, let's tie that bow on top of the first one. We are going to take the pipe cleaner to the back now and fluff up those loops. And now the tails, I'm going to curl them up on top of my finger, just like so. You can also use a pencil if you like. Very easy and look how cute. That's why I cut them longer. And then I'm rolling up the ends of the velvet ribbon, revealing the beautiful satin side. Next, you are going to tighten up that pipe cleaner in the back, cut off the excess, and insert a floral pin right under it. Just like so. If you don't have a floral pin, you can bend the wire in a U-shape. And then insert it in a pool noodle on the side of your pumpkin and add a dab of hot glue once you like the position. And this is how it looks. We are going to repeat the same steps for the other pumpkin. Okay, so we got two bows added, and now we're going to add some florals. And you had seen these in my last video. I love the mauve color. We're gonna use the asters and hat bush. Also, some of these little berries, uh, these are from Christmas time, but I just like the colors, you know? They're gonna coordinate beautifully. So we cut everything apart, and we're gonna start inserting. First the berries behind the bow on the outside of each pumpkin, just like this. Next we are going to add a larger flower in the center of each bow. Uh, I take the aster, bend its stem, add some hot glue and insert right there. You see that way it sticks up, it doesn't lay so flat there. One more. And then we're going to insert one on the opposite side. And I like to work on two at the same time. Um, I'm not uh, making them identical, but coordinating. And then I insert half bush in between. Okay, I still have some pool noodles showing there in between. And what I discovered is that not every flower comes with a leaf and it's so annoying. So I go back and open up a new bush and look what happens. Out of six flowers, there's always one without a leaf. I don't know what Dollar Tree is doing. They're saving on the leaves. <laughs> so I'm adding the hydrangea and the remaining asters and filling in all the holes. Hydrangea is a great filler flower, and this gray shade just adds a perfect pop of color there. A few berries at the bottom as well. I've had these long earrings for many years, but they're so long I never really wear them, so I decide to adjust them a little bit. <laughs> I trim off the bottoms, and now it's perfect earring length. And I have some bling bling left over. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? A perfect cherry on top of it here. <laughs> I'm going
if they have a white one this year. They do have the mini white pumpkins, which I'm gonna try to incorporate here. Also, we're gonna need a planter or an urn. I'm recycling an old one, and I showed you in one of the last videos how you can make one using Dollar Tree pads. So that's an option as well. You can look it up in this video. Again, I cut a piece of my pool noodle at an angle, and I'm going to set up my pumpkins something like this. So I just attach that with some hot glue. Of course, uh, you have to fill in your pot with the foam too. Mine was already. And just how we did before, we're removing the pumpkin stems, uh, painting them with Mud Patch, and sprinkling them with some glitter. This time I'm using gold glitter. It will coordinate well with my pot. <laughs> And those tiny pumpkins, I'm not removing the stems, uh, it's too hard. I'm just painting them as is and being careful not to spread the glitter matte patch on the velvet. When dry, I put the stems back on with hot glue. And I have to tell you, they look much better and also gives me a uniform look for all these different types of pumpkins. And then I add them to the pot and once I like the placement, I attach with hot glue. And I try to make it look random, not so symmetrical. Next, I'm going to take the golden ribbon. This was a dollar at Christmas time at Dollar General. And we're gonna make two quick, easy bestie bows. Just cut your ribbons in four equal pieces, about 20 inches long, two flower stems, two pieces of ribbon. And we're going to measure four inch loops, pinch and hold like this. Again, four inches, pinch and hold. And this will be tied with a floral wire. Yes, I'm making only two loop bestie bow. Very easy and simple. Twist it a couple times, fluff it up. You have two loops and four tails. And let me just show you, this is such an easy bow. Small, doesn't take much ribbon, but the impact is really pretty amazing. You're gonna see in a moment. You're going to take an old flower stem, like from the last project, and tie it in the back with that floral wire that's already there. Reinforce it with a dab of hot glue so it doesn't slip. And just like that, you have a pretty bow pick. You see that? Let's make one more. And with a net ribbon like this, I just fold the ends under. So what do you think, easy enough? I believe anybody can do it. If you agree, please give me those little ribbon emojis. We're going to insert one pick on each side and next cut apart the florals. These are from Michael's from Christmas time. We're gonna coordinate beautifully, but we're gonna use only the roses, hydrangeas, and the berries. Of course, the poinsettias we're gonna leave for Christmas. Just look at that gorgeous rose. We're going to add it in the center of each bow. And um, just to tell you, uh, just because there is a label that says Christmas on it doesn't mean it's just for that season. Always think outside the box and look at the potential when you see the sales shop of season because you can find some amazing deals there. And, you know, if you create your own, the labels don't matter really. By the way, I love the net ribbon because you can still see your pumpkins through it. So that's something you might want to consider. If you can't find net, maybe chiffon. 
And as you can see next, I'm filling in all the holes again with the hydrangea. It's just a great filler. Wow, look at this piece with the big leaves. <laughs> I think this is a perfect spot for it right here. And you know, leaves are another great filler. If you don't have any more flowers, that what you, that's what you use. You just grab some leaves. And sometimes, you know, uh, you can even create your own picks. Next, I want to add a pick at the bottom of the tiny pumpkin. And let me tell you, I'm using my piercing tool from the Dollar Tree to make a hole because it's very dense. It's not made out of foam. I think whatever the filler is, it's not that <laughs> easy to insert the pick in there. But if you add a hot glue, it will stay in there. And then I'm just inserting it in my arrangement um, somewhere around the bow. And let's do that with the other two as well. And for the final touch, I'm going to add some of these burgundy eucalyptus from the Dollar Tree. I think it coordinates perfectly with that burgundy pumpkin. And as I insert it around the arrangement, you're going to see how much difference that pop of color makes. tree or use one of the calendar pages uh, you're gonna need some cardboard nautical rope and those amazing new beads that they sell now 
First, you are going to line the back of your picture with the cardboard, and then you are going to attach uh, the rope all around the edge. Start and finish at the bottom though, so your eye doesn't catch where the seam is. You know what I mean. <laughs> And for the final touch, we are going to attach the beads at the top and it's going to be our picture hanger. Just so cute. I'm adding a dab of hot glue over there where I need to cut my beads. So when I cut, they don't fall apart. And then we are going to attach the beaded hanger from the back, just like so. Just using some hot glue and reinforcing it with a piece of uh, ribbon. And just like that, we created this large, beautiful piece of wall decor for only about $3. It's a, such a fun project to do with your besties, by the way. I hope you like this video you press the thumbs up button also subscribe to my channel that way we are in touch and we're gonna see each other in the next video okay take care my bestie see you next time